that you don't But if I ask you if you love me Would you no, no, no. I look like shit Hi <laughs> Bobby <laughs> Oh in this video We got some serious stuff to talk about So the other day I was on my Facebook And one of the Jeffrey groups I'm in, they're like, you guys, Beautylish has restocked the conspiracy theory palette. And I was like, what? So y'all, I ran to that website. And well, they had it. I lost my mind. I could not believe that they restocked it. They said something, excuse you. They said something about it was from people that had accidentally ordered extras or blah, 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 blah. So I was like, you know what? I don't care where they come from. I'm getting it. So, yeah, girl snagged it up before the restock. So today we're going to do swatches and we're going to talk about some of the colors in here and we're going to do a look with it. So if you want to see how I got this look, then stay tuned. We're going to start off with food videos in the crease. A little bit above my crease. I'm going to just pack this on a little bit and then start blending. Because I like it to be above where my crease is, but not like way the hill up here. So, <laughs> you know, oh, and face mask left over. Ugh. Anyway. All right. We're just going to blend this. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I actually just wanted this yellow in here, so it'll be kind of peeking out the top of uh, the other co the other colors that I lay down. So it doesn't have to be perfect. This is a really pretty yellow. I love yellows. So that's okay. We can always come back in and fix it. All right, next color we're dipping into is not a fact. I'm gonna go right below like right in here almost in my actual crease like I said I just really want this yellow to kind of be popping through at the top okay the blend's not looking like I want I'm gonna switch to this other brush I was using my Sigma brush and actually this Walmart brush that I got is actually doing better. And just keep blending it out. We've kind of lost that yellow up there, but you know what? That's fine. We can, this is too high for me anyway, so we'll come fix that and then put some more yellow back right there. That'll be fine. That's the good thing about makeup. You can take it off if you don't like it. This is a mighty rough looking brush. This is just one of the Morphe brushes that I've got. I don't have a name because it was a set and I bought it, so. I don't have names on those for some odd reason, who knows. Now that I've got that looking pretty decent, <laughs> we're gonna go in with my rides here and add it to the outside of the eye. Just kinda pack it on first. Only thing about this black, it like really falls out bad, but that's okay. That's why I never, ever, ever do my face makeup first before I do my eyes. I'm gonna add some liner real quick and do my under eye while I'm at it. Okay, now I'm just gonna add this under my eye a little bit and try to connect it up with this that we just put up there. It's like Shadow never wants to stick right in there. Get in there. 
Okay, now that I've done that, before I blend this black out, I'm actually going to add that shade Not A Fact right up here. I freaking love that color Not A Fact. I think it's one of my favorites in this palette, actually. Now that that's blended in with the black, we're gonna go in, excuse me camera, we're gonna go in, okay, now that that's blended in with the black on the bottom, we'll blend, we'll start blending this right here. Come on, okay, we're not gonna go too crazy with blending this because I don't want this to be too terribly dark in the crease, I just want it to kind of blend in with everything else, you know? I'm gonna blend this together. Good. Now that all that's blended, how I want it and everything, like I know everybody's got their different preferences, and that's fine. Now we're gonna dip into a moment. Uh, mm, now we're gonna dip into. Now we're gonna dip into Illuminati, and that's what's gonna go on the lid. I'm just taking it on a flat packer brush and spraying set and spray on it. Which really, with these, you really don't even have to use setting spray, but I like doing it because it goes on better. I mean, look at that. So beautiful. And I go up a little bit more just because my eyes are hooded, so. And you can always just, and you can always just blend it in, so it's fine. I'm going to go over it another time, one more time with it. Gosh. Okay. Now that I've fixed the black the way I want it, we'll go in and blend a little bit so it's not as harsh of a line right here. There's nothing, no extra product on my brush. I'm just going back in and blending with what I already had. All right, really, uh, the last two steps that's left is like highlight, really. So, if I can find what brushes I highlighted with, that would be cool. Okay, so the inner corner highlight, I'm going to use Diet Cola, which is an awesome freaking silver. Like, I love ranch, but I think with this kind of smoky look, it would look better with the Diet Cola in the... This part right here. All right, and I'm not even going to wet the brush. I'm going to show y'all how awesome this formula is by Jeffrey. I mean, look at that. Hello? That is without setting spray. That is just literally dipping the brush in there and applying it. I know it's kind of uh, crazy everywhere, but, I mean, when you look off, you know, it kind of looks good. So, all right, guys, that's the end of this one. I'll see you next time. Bye. So here's the palette. I know you've all probably seen it, but you know, kind of excited about it. So we got these little flaps here, kind of like the blood sugar and the blue blood palette. And this has been heavily used already. I've been kind of behind on getting a video out. So this is what the inside looks like in all of its glory. It's so beautiful. I hadn't even taken the thing off the mirror yet, <laughs> but all right, let's get some swatches in. There's the first row complete. That's ranch from, we're going from here to, from here to here. Ranch, my pills, Tanacon, Dot Root Beer, Just a Theory, and Spiraling. All right, let's move on to the second row. Second row, we have Conspiracy. Did I just swipe that over there? No. Okay. We have Conspiracy. Pigment. Food videos. 
I love this color. <laughs> Next we have Trisha. I have Cheese Dust and Flaming Hot. What's the tea? Dot cola. Not a fact. Sleep paralysis. Illuminati. And my rides here. Okay, here's the whole first row. Here's the second row, and here's the last. I'll insert a picture better that'll show it all better because, there we go. Just some opinions on this palette. I was really freaking excited, and I knew I was kinda gonna be biased about it because I love Shane, I love Jeffrey, and I love the whole conspiracy thing like that's my favorite videos by Shane is the conspiracy theory videos so of course I'm a little biased but I mean if something doesn't work it don't matter who makes it it just don't work so the yellow color in here food videos which everybody probably knows this one it worked pretty good in the crease but like if you're wanting to put it on your lid which not a lot of people really do matte colors on their lids anymore. They do like shimmers and then maybe a little bit of a matte. But this one is okay. I did a look the other day. I'll insert a clip of it or a picture of it. And I had to use my finger actually for, I use this color, Cheeto Dust and Flamin' Hot. I had to use my finger for all of these. But I mean, regardless, they still worked good. They still blended out good. So there's that with that one. Um, this one right here is freaking amazing. I have it as my inner corner highlight today. And this color, I cannot get enough of it. Not a fact. You can probably not even see it. It kind of looks purple on here, but you'll see it in the pictures later. But other than that, all the colors that I've used so far, I've not had a problem with them except for the food videos. But I mean, bright colors are hard to make. I mean, it, it just, it is what it is, especially when it's a vegan formula. So but i've used a majority of these i've used uh these first three actually i've used this one i use this one on my sister um i've used this one this one this one this one uh that one that one and these two so i've used a majority of the palette and you know they've worked really good i mean i can't complain um especially with something as awesome as this you know can't complain it's really awesome really sturdy palette so um i guess that's all i pretty much have to say about that but um in other news i have seen online also that they are discontinuing the alien palette like what is up with that i don't understand but that's a whole that's a whole nother thing we'll have to talk about that another time <laughs> but anyways i hope you liked the video hope you liked the eye tutorial if there's anything else you want to see me do, a look you want to see me recreate, let me know. And sorry I hadn't been posting a lot. It's been kind of crazy, like always. I mean, I'm trying, but um, yeah. So if you guys want to see anything else, if you like this video, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I'd love to have you here. All right, bye.